Hey, my name is David Corns. I'm the set designer of Hamilton. If you want to know how I went from this to this to this to that to the thing you know on stage, follow along the Instagram account. I'm going to be taking over today. Can't wait to show you all behind the scenes secrets. So this is the quarter inch model of the off-Broadway production of Hamilton, full color, and it's showing the scene um, of the Winter's Ball. And yes, the turntables work. The back wall of the set grows at intermission eight feet to show um, a passage of time, but also the further building of the foundation of the country. in millions and millions of little ways, but hopefully none that the audience would perceive. We really tried to honor the original Broadway production. Well, I mean, Lynn would tell you we got two turntables and a bunch of microphones. <laughs> the very first impulse I... No, each touring company only has one set. The very first impulse I had was one of the turntable. The very first thing that we designed was actually the fact that it would be a kind of rectilinear room and it would be um, three-sided and we had hopes for to add a catwalk. Okay, so we're here and uh, we're, see we're signing off on the floor for Hamilton. Where's, the where's this one going? Los Angeles. Thanks, see you in LA. There is a steel structure inside the wood. If not, people would, you know, fall down and go boom. But uh, it's not real brick. It is real wood, but it's all treated and textured um, to look like stone, wood, brick, etc. I think it was really challenging to try and carve out an environment for so many different scenes and locations without having to deliver actual pieces of representational scenery. That's our one place and location where we can really show status and kind of glamour um, in the Schuyler Mansion and at that wedding. And so I wanted to kind of add a bunch of sparkly beauty. I start every design process with an extraordinarily large amount of research. And I think about each location as if I was going to design it completely in a hyper real way. And then I figure out the least amount of that that we need to tell each one of the scenes. I love that you can't tell where the choreography ends a lot of times and where the scenery picks up. And I love and am so proud of the incredible collaboration on the creative team. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for following along. I hope you had a great time and learned lots. I have to go put this thing back on the set or we can have a show. And if you like this, if you want some more inside exclusive tips, Go check out at David Corns. Follow along.